We did a, a whole day really that was focused around the worst day of my life and we took a patient from the point of diagnosis all the way through their treatment with chemotherapy, infective complications, having a transplant, uh, having side effects from their transplant and one of those being graft versus host disease, relapsing their disease and then unfortunately uh, becoming a palliative patient and dying at the end. So this was a traumatic worst day of your life for this particular patient and we were hoping that each one of these presentations would bring out the difficulties that our patients experience during their transplant. And we were very fortunate to have a psychologist with us on the day and he listened to each one of the presentations as they were occurring. He was taking notes and at the end of each one of the 20 minute presentations he gave a two minute synopsis of how the patient experienced this, what potentially were the patient's thoughts and feelings and their experience, and trying to put our nurses in the room in the shoes of our patient to see how they were coping with the difficulties that were uh, being thrown at them with their new diagnosis, having to receive chemotherapy and a transplant. I spoke about graft versus host disease and is, has it all gone wrong? And a lot of our patients when they first diagnose with uh, graft versus host disease think maybe their transplant is failing and something has uh, really gone badly and they worry that it is not uh, happening as it should do. But a lot of the time we do want some graft versus host disease but only at a very small level that we can control. I spoke about graft versus host disease with uh, the particular patient I was discussing, very much about their skin because this is a, a very um, troublesome area for a lot of patients. They develop rashes all over their body and this can develop into very uncomfortable and itchy rashes. The skin can be very sore and painful and they require quite um, intensive treatment for this with uh, frequent application of creams, both uh, moisturising creams and steroid creams alongside increased immunosuppression with uh, systemic steroids, so tablet steroids as well as intravenous steroids alongside their other medications that are taken such as cyclosporin. So it's a very complicated process for patients to understand. They've already been through a very complicated um, pre-transplant assessment, workup, chemotherapy. They then have their transplant and they think, oh, okay, everything's now going to be fine, I'm going to be okay. And they develop then uh, a secondary problem with their graft versus host disease, which in one way is swapping one uh, life-threatening disorder for another life-threatening disorder. You've cured one problem and replaced it with another, which in some ways can be as bad, if not even worse, than the problem you originally transplanted them for. So it's trying to educate, again, our nurses and inform them of these terrible complications that occur with our patients and how best they can help our patients to cope with them, telling them the correct ways to apply creams, when and how to take your tablets, things to look out for and taking care of your skin uh, ensuring it doesn't get any breaks or open sores or wounds in it. Um, so it was a, hopefully it was a fairly dynamic uh, presentation and it looks as though people were enjoying it in the audience, I hope. Um, so I think it was a, a fairly good day.